long ago, Mephisto, Lord of Hatred, was captured by the Haradrim and sealed within one of three soul stones. But his imprisonment was part of a grander plan. Over the course of centuries, Mephisto corrupted the Zacharum priests who were watching over him, manipulating them into freeing him and his primeval brethren. The sinister effects of Mephisto's hatred follow him wherever he goes, whether it be the confines of a soul stone or the cosmos of the Nexus. Mephisto is a ranged assassin who excels at dealing sustained area damage and evading crowd control. Mephisto's trait is Lord of Hatred. Hitting enemy heroes with his basic abilities lowers their cooldown for each hero they hit. Lord of Hatred allows Mephisto to deal a lot of damage as long as he casts his abilities at the right time and hits multiple heroes with each usage. Skull Missile is Mephisto's first basic ability. He conjures an ethereal skull and after a short delay, launches it in the target direction, slowing and damaging all enemy heroes in its path. It serves as an effective poke and makes it difficult for enemies to escape from Mephisto's other abilities. Lightning Nova provides Mephisto with another way to deal area damage. He creates a ring of lightning around himself that damages enemy heroes for as long as they are in contact with it. Lightning Nova's damage is increased for each hero it hits. In the right position, Mephisto can inflict some serious pain. Mephisto's final basic ability is Shade of Mephisto. When cast, Mephisto teleports to the target location and deals damage in a small area around him. A Shade of Mephisto stays in his original location until he teleports back to it a short time later. With clever usage, Mephisto can finish off a retreating hero, dodge area damage, and avoid CC. Consume Souls, Mephisto's first heroic ability, reveals all enemy heroes while he's channeling. When the channel completes, all revealed heroes are damaged and slowed. It can act as a powerful finishing move when his basic abilities are unable to kill his enemies. If the damage from Consume Souls doesn't kill Mephisto's enemies outright, his allies will know where to find them and finish the job. Durance of Hate provides Mephisto with a powerful disruption tool. A short time after it is cast, Mephisto unleashes a horde of evil spirits in the target direction, damaging and rooting the first enemy hero they hit. The spirits fan out in search of other nearby enemy heroes, damaging and rooting them as well. A well-timed Durance of Hate can swing an entire team fight in Mephisto's favor. You are too late! <laughs> Mephisto is all about positioning and choosing the right moment to strike. The greater the number of enemy heroes he hits with each of his basic abilities, the more often he can cast them. Lightning Nova in particular has the potential to deal high amounts of damage over the course of a match with the right tactic. Oh, hello. Good evening, Hots fans. Welcome to our Division E matchup tonight. But first thing first, thank you, Moby One, for the follow, and more importantly, Thank you for your Prime subscription. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoy this match. It should be a fun one. First map we are going to is Volskaya Foundry. Not often do we go there. So let's just go ahead and go there. First pick first. Um, Bang goes to the blue team. Mean one. Uh, Yavapi County Municipal Youth Chess Club and Swim Team Story. From now on, we'll just call him the Swim Team. Uh, first band is Stukov. Stukov's home court is Volskaya Foundry. Why would he ban the Russian from the Russian ma map? Oh me, oh my. Sorry, Stukov. Not tonight. First band on the red team, 30 seconds to march, is Samuro. No shenanigans for Samuro tonight. I can see him being banned in all games tonight. He is quite oppressive. So, second ban for the blue team. Um, let's see. Will they go another healer like Brightwing? 
Or will they go, no, Rexar. Okay, so they ban an offlaner now. Don't see Rexar too often on this map, but he's pretty good at any maps that requires point control. And this is definitely a uh, big ass point control. And Artanis. Sorry, um, all you Artanis fans. No Artanis tonight. Good thing Hoku is not watching right now. And first pick is Joanna. Okay. Joanna is left open and instantly picked. Um, so let's see who else is a good pick. Brightwing. Brightwing is good in this map. He's good in all the map because he's got the global. Uh, let's see. Or tech wise, it could be a Gar. Oh, you know, oh, Muradin and Nazebo. I like Muradin and I like Nazebo. So you got the. You got your damage and your tank for the red team. You know, I kind of li would like blue team to pick Brightwing here. Brightwing, every time Muradin jumps in, could be instantly par him off. Oh, Junkrat. And there's your Brightwing. I like both the picks. So far, I like the blue team's draft. Joanna, Brightwing, and Junkrat. Two very oppressive um, heroes. But still a lot of drafting to go. All right, so the final ban. Let's see. Oh, Sergeant Hammer. Sergeant Hammer. I haven't seen Hammer played in a while, but man, oh man, if you can protect Hammer, he's just going to siege on you all day long. And a Joe and Brightwing and Junkrat can easily protect Hammer, so that's a good ban. They definitely have done some scouting. All right, final ban for the blue team. is Anduin. Okay, so no no pulling, spoiling the fun. So let's see, there's still lots of good healers. There's Rhaegar, there's um, Deckard Kane. Who are they going to pick? I'm going to guess they're going to pick Rhaegar as the healer. There's Rhaegar, and they need another Vala's up. They want oh Sonya there's your offlaner. Sonya, Sonya's gonna come with the leap. Too bad they don't have Anduin for the light bomb. Alright, so blue team, they need an offlaner and a DPS. Again, Vala, Vala's up. If you want Vala. Offlaner, uh Leoric. Leoric's good with the tomb. The Haka, but there's not that many bushes, so I don't like the Haka in this map. There's so little bushes. Phoenix and KT, so Phoenix, the offlaner? All right, I don't see that too often. He's going to go out. Phoenix will go against Sonya. Uh, I guess that's an okay matchup. Phoenix can stay his distance. Try to kite Sonya. Until Sonya gets 10 and leaps on him. But Phoenix has the shield and can teleport away. Should be interesting. Alright, final down. Then there's your Vala. Last pick Vala. Like it. Red team has a lot of damage. Nazebo, if they go late game, and Volskai always goes late game. Sonya and Vala. Especially if Vala gets her stacks. I assume she's going to go auto attack build here. All right, false guy family. Look at this portrait matches. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Both, both teams are on point tonight. We got uh, ETC thirty seconds to Mosh, and they have two po um six point five on the meme story. I like it. I like it. All right, here we go. Game one, um, Division E matchup. On the right side, the red team, we have Born to Shine on Rhaegar, Malby One on Murden, Raka on Sonya, Hunter X on Nazebo, and the Captain on Vala. And on the left side, we have Andrade on Joanna, 
Thara on Galactose, I mean, Thara on Junkrat, Galactose on Brightwing, Stank on Phoenix, and Aura Luna on Kel'Thas. And it looks like Phoenix is going to start up top right. Okay, get a head start taking down um, some towers. Meanwhile, we have Zealous Glare, Extra Wound Towers, Hyper Shift, Serenal Synergy, Mana Addict, Totem, Dwarf Block, Furious Blow, Toads, and Auto Attack. Okay, no really surprise talents. And looks like um, Sun is going bottom already. That's the usual um, offlaner. And Phoenix is going to start on top, which is not the usual offlaner. Interesting, interesting. Oh, first blood. Oh, Junkrat gets first, his first blood to Zebo. And we're going to go down to the bottom. Looks like they're going to try to gank Sonya, but ooh, don't want to do that. All right, so blue team is picking up the um, double soak on the bottom and middle. They're looking to gank Phoenix. Oh, missed it. Just missed spotting him, but didn't care. Didn't care. Are they gonna... Alright, uh, we got camps taken. Both camps taken easily. Sonya's already getting damage on the bottom. Ooh, oh man. If hit that poop had gone the correct way and booped them out, could have been in trouble because there was four blue teams there. Interesting. Phoenix is now in the middle. I guess he was picking up Stoke. And here comes uh, Murden trying to slow down the rotation. Phoenix should just teleport over. Nope. He's going to lose some soak there. That was a good job by the red team to deny a little bit of his experience. Interesting. Blue team's doing a different strategy. It looks like the rotation is mid bottom, where normally it's mid top. And here we go. Healing camp has started. Is he going to get sniffed out? No. Yep. Here we go. Joe. I think Joe sees it. No, Joe does not see it. They're going to they're gonna get a free healing camp there. Nice job by the red team. I like red team's rotation. I'm still not quite sure what blue team is trying to do. Now they're losing Silk in the bottom also. Red team is getting their um, siege cap and blue team and red team. Slight experience lead by the red team. And Phoenix is again now on the bottom. Now looks like they're back to the normal traditional way. Oh my gosh, Sonya is just rocking Phoenix. Phoenix is doing his best alternating, but he's got no way to heal other than the shields. Red team's gonna get sevens first. And. Blue team's on point. Doesn't look like red is too into. Oh no! Here they come! Here they come! Coming contest the point. Now that they got the um, level lead, blue team should back out and wait till they get sevens. Dark rat's got to clear the top. All right, sevens is about to be on both teams. There it is. Sevens. Everyone got sevens now. Woo! Skullcracker. I love this build. This is... Oh, yeah. This is my Meridian build. I, I, I like playing Meridian. Question is, is he going to take Avatar? Or is he going to a Haymaker? I hope he gets... He, oh, the heal! He, oh! I was going to say, they got him because... The, the jump. I, thought, I don't know. He just jumped late. I'm not quite sure. But they almost got him. Blue team almost got the first kill. Red team is half level lead. Oh, almost a full level lead now. They had to back out because Muradin had to um, go back for some health. And Sonya is looking. He's waiting for, for Muradin. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, nice joke about trap. Nice joke about trap. Uh, no, Muradin overleaps everyone. <laughs> But he gets blind more. Oh my god. But they might get it. Oh, Joe goes down. Brightwing heals is too slow. Oh, they get the 
Two kills for red team. They take the point over. Bobbing was just a little slow. And with Joe going for eight seconds, I think red teams might get it. Uh, yeah, because they're almost 10. They're almost 10. And I don't think blue team can contest it. Well, they, they're they going to contest it. They got to do it now before they reach 10. They got 93, 95. Joe might not make it there in time. Nope, not enough. Joe is never got, didn't get there. All right, Bala and Rhaegar is in the big old robot. So, oh my gosh, so close. That movement spin, the movement speed from her spin helped her get out of there. Okay, so the robot finished getting the gate and the tower on the bottom. I guess that's all the robot cared about. Now they're going to go... Oh, it is in the 10s. Is Red Team going to force it? No, they're just going to continue getting the structure. But that might give Blue Team some time to get their 10s. Red Team just trying to slow the rotation. But you got 14 seconds left on the robot. Oh, Vala just went out. He doesn't care. Rhaegar was stuck there. Oh, there's a leap! There's a leap! Can they get up? They get behind the gate. They probably made it. Oh my gosh, the gate saved them. The gate saved them. Oh, but Rhaegar might go down. Oh, Rhaegar! Oh, he didn't use Ancestral himself. Oh, I guess he used it already or it was too late. I didn't see the animation. I didn't see the animation. Oh my gosh. But Rhaegar goes down. Tens. Tens have had on the blue team and they get the healing camp. They tried so hard with the Sonya Leap, almost made it, but it was so close to the gate that they got away. Nice play by the blue team. That gives them the first blood. All right, here comes the camp. Okay, it is Avatar. Gary, Rain of Vengeance, Plus Shield, Rocket Ride, Blink Heal, Planet Cracker, and Phoenix. Okay, nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Junkrat's gonna push this um, camp all the way to the tower. Oh, nice. KT already finished this man attic. Well, Phoenix needs to be careful. If he leaves you, you got no shield. Where's the leap? Where's the leap? Where's the leap? Oh, leave him. Oh, doesn't want to go into the tower. Oh, and then there's the leap. Go backwards. All right. Nice play. Nice play. Phoenix just had enough to survive and force Sonya back. I could, uh, I'm not sure why he didn't use Planet Cracker on Sonya. It might have, if you hit him correctly. Might have got him. But no one wants to... He didn't want to use their ult to try to confirm a kill. Just want to play it safe. Blue team, you gotta be careful because red team's about to get 13s. Oh, now it's condemned by Joe. He gets two. Oh, but the joke red boot goes the wrong way. Oh, almost had him. Almost, joke red almost had him. So close, so close. It could, oh, nice, slow. Oh, oh, Burden tried to jump away, but he got stopped. He got stopped. He had to use his avatar. Some ults were used. But no kills. Oh, Nazebo, they're coming in for Nazebo. But here comes the red team. Coming in for the rich. Coming back. Can Oh. I was going to say, does he have a stone bar for Phoenix? But nope. Must have been on cooldown. All right. Objective is up in 12 seconds. Junkrat, oh my gosh, Junkrat, you're playing the fire. You are surrounded. The rocket ride, can he get it? Can he get it? Oh, he gets stunned down a rocket ride. He gets stunned down a rocket ride. He goes down. Oh my gosh. Oh, Junkrat's down, and Red Team takes it over. Sonya is gonna just soak. Oh, he's gonna come join the fight. Another eight seconds for Junkrat. Someone is looking for a leap. He's looking for a leap. 
There's no terrors there, so it can happen. It can happen. It's gonna happen on KT, I bet you. He's looking for KT, or maybe Brightway. There's the spear, they're going it. Nope. Alright, Jump Guard's back. It's 5v5 again. Red team is playing it safe. Because they got control of the point. Oh, nice done! And a double stun! Joe's gonna be in trouble! Oh! Lucius there! Healing potion too! Oh, nice kill! Nice kill on Bala! Nice kill! Oh, the boop again almost gets gets Rhaegar, but not enough. Alright. Red team again gets the second ob objective. I believe this is gonna be the first four of the game. Without the front line, not much they can do. Though, I guess it's only Muradin out here. Since the robot just wants the fort. to get three shots on Muradin, because that's okay. Because the robot's taking the fort. Zero is just busy taking out the mid fort. Oh my gosh. One more punch, and there it goes. I can say. One punch. Rhaegar had to use Ancestral. This is big. The shield gets two, but Vala for the peel. Oh, the rocket right, the rocket right, and Planet Cracker, Planet Cracker. Oh, Murden gets out. Oh, and Rhaegar survives the rocket right. All ults being pushed by Blue Team with that. Damn it, still my dead one. They need two. Oh, I delete. Delete, not enough, though. KT gets Murden involved. The leap was a little too slow and missed KT. Red team has some full retreat. Blue team needs a fort. Blue team needs a fort. Can they get it? They have. A oh, Sonia. Can I? I think they have enough. Red team can def defend. They they have enough because they got the Nazebo Nazebo toads. Oh, nice defense by the red team. All right, two forts down for the blue team. Everyone's got 16s, even Talon lead. Experience almost caught up. Oh, can this is dead Nazebo. Good night, Nazebo. Nice knowing you. Wall is not gonna save you. Oh my gosh! Oh, he might live! He might live! Oh, wow! A 4 on 1 gank! He survives! Oh my gosh, how did that happen? Go, there's the wall! Oh, they still got him! Nazebo jumped back out! Phoenix gets him! Oh, why did Phoenix go back out? He thought he was invincible. The two men saw my Vala! Oh, but Muradin got stopped! Muradin gets stopped. He popped Avatar. I'm not sure if he needed Avatar there. Oh, Stoneball misses! Stoneball misses! Sign is out! Blue team wants this top four. 5v3. Oh, nope. They are not going to get the fort. They don't want to take any chances. Don't want to take a chance. Well, they're still here, though. Stone ball misses, but they have no Oh, the Stun of Phoenix, but he's got the shield. Sonya is just going to clear bottom lane. Doesn't care. Nice defense by the red team. All of that, and he still didn't get it. Red team is doing a really good job. Map control. A new terminal will be ready shortly. The team's got no fort on the bottom. So this is bad for them. If the red team gets the objective, it's going straight to the keep. Actually, red team might go straight to the top keep. I would... Push the top keep. Let them. Oh, here comes blue team. They were afraid of that. They wanted to try to defend. Power routed to the terminals. Control it, and you can pilot the All right. Joey's there first. Red team is waiting to regroup. Here we go. Red team's gonna finish off this minion wave. Let this minion. Oh. Phoenix is going to clear it up. I thought they were going to force the issue and let this minion wave um, go out. But I guess they don't care because they want this minion wave. There's a catapult coming in this one. Nazebo is not here yet. He's just throwing it. He's trying to get 20. I think red team is fighting for 20. Blue team has got 
everyone on bottom. And Nazebo is just going to get them turning. Well, no, nope, he's coming back. I think red team should have pushed for turning. All right, here we go. Red wing could Z in any time, but... Oh, no, but... Oh, it's just so missed it's just so missed Sonya's down without a lead. Without a lead. And Phoenix not gonna... Oh, Murdy's a little too late on his jump. Stormbolt, Stormbolt, Stormbolt. Oh, Murdy wants the Stormbolt, but Phoenix got healed by... Oh, no. Oh, no, Murdy jumps out. Oh, my gosh. Murdy barely makes it out. Oh, no. Phoenix snipes Murdy. Planet Cracker. Oh, blue team gets the objective. Oh, turn around. Oh. Blue team plays there. You know, Uno, reverse card, turns it around on the red team. Oh, my gosh. Murden really wanted um, Phoenix. But Brightman came in there and healed him. And then Phoenix turned around and took out Murden with Planet Cracker. Here comes the first fort for the red team. Everyone's got 20s. Indestructible, Cannonball, Invisible Friend, Singular Charge, Flamethrower. Farseer is rewind, ignore pain, vile infection, far full of clear. These two are gonna be big for the red team. Vile infection already completed and far light quiver. 114 stacks on Vile. Pretty good, pretty good. Hasn't died yet either. I mean it's not the gre greatest, but she hasn't died yet, so that's 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 nice. But blue team is fighting back. Got 26 seconds left. I think they're just content on running this out. You know, you can just jump out of that. But I guess they're playing it safe. The protector is overloaded. My team will begin repair. Alright, this gives red team a chance to steal their turrets. Blue team, meanwhile, knows they're there, and they're going to take the healing cap. Smart move on the blue team. Really smart. They knew that their red team is going to invade, but they better hurry. They better hurry. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so close. Nice. Nice zone out by Joe, but might get in trouble. Indestructible. Broadway's for the heal. Oh, oh, Sonya with the leap. Sonya with the leap. Can they get him? Oh, the hell. Oh. And says double and chest on Tonya, but still my die. Oh no, survive! They survive, everyone lives! Oh! Oh! Rocket Ride almost gets Oh Murdered! Murder gets playing off mid-jump! Mid-jump! He goes down! He goes down! Phoenix snaps Murden again! Murden is murdered dead! Oh my gosh! Nice play by Phoenix there! Not only to survive, but to get the snipe. Blue team is coming back, but they still need to take some structures. They need to take some structures. A little late on the invade. Oh, you get Sonya again, pulling him up. Oh, and the brute. And oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, for the red team. Oh, and Brightwing goes down. I missed that. I didn't think. Oh, my gosh. Nazebo with those. Vile infection, he's gonna hurt. He is hurting. Let's see, hero damage 26k. Oh wow, look, it's Phoenix 61k. That planet cracker is doing some work. Follow with 23k. Wow, 62k and 56k by KT. Wow, wow, wow. I thought red team was the late game team with Nazebo and Vala, but. Wow, Phoenix is... Oh, can he get him? Nice, stun! Gary gets out, but here comes Phoenix on the backside. The Zebra's trying to juke, he's trying to juke. Oh, but the root, he's trying to juke. Side camp's getting not enough, not enough. Oh, here comes Rocket Right to Peel, Rocket Right to Peel. Oh, and the Cestral, the Cestral. Oh, the Zebo. Oh, whoa, the Zebo survives and gets the kill on Phoenix. And Murden jumps on the black line on KT. Wow! Nazebo with sidestep king. And the ancestral hits and heals him.
Nice job by red team. The damage dealers are down by the blue. Not much they can do. The slow, the totem, they might, and the stun, the heal. Oh, just in time, just in time. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, junk run. Oh, he steps in the healing thing. Oh, 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 just enough right wing heal. Fala didn't, didn't want to take the chance. I think he could have got him, but didn't want to walk into the tower. Didn't want to, uh, um, 1v2, right wing and junk rat. Just when I thought the blue team turned the tide. Zebo coming back with the damage. Phoenix thought he had him. All right, 20 minute objective. I think this is going to core no matter what. Red team gets it, they can go in either lane, take it out the keep. If blue team gets it, they're going to walk bottom, get the bottom keep. Oh, they see you, they see you, they're going to flank you. Oh, Vala with the stun and the lead! The lead takes out Junkrat and Phoenix for a while! No, oh, Joe, 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 you're walking on the on the treadmill. You can't go, Bo, you can't go fast. KT, KT's trouble with the jump by Murden and the slow by Rhaegar. Oh, Murden. Oh, the Stoneball misses. Stoneball misses. Oh, oh. Red team comes back. They saw you going for that camp and they came in with the flank. Junkrat was, was in the back and goes down first. This is game. They're gonna get this mid keep. They got the objective. With only the healer and tank. This is game. Nice job, red team. Uh, just there we go. Forty-four percent. 28%. Oh! Okay. Second, I thought um, someone crashed, but I think that was just an accident. Yeah, Hoku, sorry, our tennis was banned. They banned them early. Alright, let's look at the stats. Junkrat. 164 seeds, KT with the 76. Zebo though, he had, okay. So like, Zebo had like 26K damage. And, and, uh, I don't remember, but they were way behind. Phoenix and KT had 60 something damage. And then when Zebo hit 20 with the Vol Infection, he just overtook everyone. Overtook KT, overtook Phoenix. And Nazebo um, basically won the game with the sidestep. Um, Nazebo MVP on the bottom where he just sidestepped everybody, waited until um, the rest of the team. In fact, he sidestepped twice, once on the bottom and once on the top. MVP Nazebo. Late game Nazebo finishes his bottle infection and um, wins the game for them. Okay, let me um, update four. One zero for 30 seconds to march. All right, so while we wait for second map, let's look at the standings. All right, so let's see. We want thirty seconds to march, and that. So here's our two teams. Thirty seconds to march, currently in second place, with the swim team in third place. So this, I think, pretty much guarantees um, thirty seconds march second place. 
Um, the swim team would have needed a, do a domination for the four points to get ahead. But I believe 30 Seconds to Mars has one more game after this. And this is um, the swim team's last game. So there's no way that um, they can overtake 30 Seconds to Mars. Question is now who's going to get third and fourth place? Does Dragon Ball Z have another game? How many games do they have? Dragon Ball has one more game. No, Dragon Ball Z has two more games. So I guess it's possible that Dragon Ball Z, if they win dominations in the next two games, that they can overtake second place with eight. Let's see, that would be 35 points. Oh, no, that would be, is that right? 35 points. If 30 seconds to Marsh wins it with a domination, they'll get 35 also. So they could potentially tie. With 30 seconds. Okay, this is interesting. Interesting. So we still have a potential shakeup here. For sure, um, some team will not cannot get second place. The question is, will they get third or fourth? And Dragon Ball Z will need to win domination on both the last two games to get second place, but just needs to win to get third place. Okay, should be fun. All right, second map, we are going to Battlefield of Eternity. Uh, let's see. Let me update that. And let me update DOE. And let me change this here. All right, let's see who picked that. First pick is team two. So blue team picked this. Okay. Wait, blue team picked this? So they chose map pick. Interesting, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, we're in the lobby. Everyone is is in here. Just waiting for them to ready up. So 30 second Tomash needs to win the second game to guarantee a tie for second place. I don't know who wins the tiebreaker. BOE. Okay, so let's see who's good in this map. Li Meng, Hanzo, um, Zuljin. I expect to see some of the same bands. Oh, here we go. Oops. Well, my draft screen. <laughs> Wrong overlay. There we go. All right. First pick, first band, red team. This does look like an Artanis map. I agree with you, Hoku. But he was banned in the first game. Along with Samuro, Stukov, and um, Rexar. Those were the bands in the first game. Let's see if we stick with it. All right, there's Stukov. And 
red team. And again, stick with the same band. Yep, same band so far. Rexar. Oh, are they going to do? Rexar's not that great on this map, I don't think. But I don't play Rexar, so I don't see him too often. They change it up. Rhaegar, okay. They went from banning a bear to banning the doggy. And Brightwing is stolen. Now goes over to the red team. Not surprised. Brightwing is definitely first pick worthy. All right, Joe is still up. They want Joe. But Val, no, Val for the race. And Rainer, all right, there's your race. Two racers. Pick them early. Make sure the other team doesn't get it. All right, Joe is up for the blind. They want that. There's your Rexar and there's your Joe. All right. Don't ban Rexar. I mean, yeah, and gets taken. Don't ban Joe and get taken. Okay, so you got the, you got a blinds for Joe. Very good on the blue team's damage dealers. All right. So blue team, they need to ban some auto, some um, objective people. Lunar. All right, Lunar is good, but I mean, there's still a lot of racers. Maybe no one plays um, Li Ming. I mean, I see Li Ming a lot on this map. Maybe they didn't want Li Ming for the Wisp. For the vision control. And Anduin. Okay. That's good ban. Alright. Blue team. They need an offlaner. Who's good here? Um Sonya, Blaze. Would be good. Daka, a lot of a lot of um bushes. Come back in the flip to flank someone. Uh, tank-wise, Nubrak's pretty good here. Gray main. Oh, they got another Rain. Okay, Rainer is off lane. Gray main and Vala in the four man with Lucio. But they're all auto attackers, so Joe will be busy blinding, but you can't blind all three of them. Well, you can if they like to clump up. Hopefully, they're smart enough not to do that. And Li Ming, there it is for the race. We need another racer. <laughs> Give me the meat! Give me the meat! <laughs> yeah, butcher! We get a butcher tonight! Thank you, Red Team! All right. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Blue Team's going for the race. Red Team is going for Butcher. Enough said. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. May's gonna have to be busy peeling. She got blind for um for the butcher. That's gonna help. All right, we will see. All right, game two, Division E between Meme One, Yavaki County Municipal Youth Chess Club, and Swim Team. On the left side with Andre on May, Sank on Rainer, Black Toes on Lucio, Sarah on Greymane, and Aura on Vala. 
And on the red team, 30 seconds to Marsh, we have Born to Shine, right wing, Raka on Rexar, the captain on Butcher, Malby One on Joanna, and Hunter X on Lee Ming. All right. Snowball, Terminator, Dolorando, Viciousness, Q Build, yeah, okay, that's right, on this map. Hyper Shift, Birds of Prey, Block, Zealous Glare, and Force Armor. Okay. There we go. How many meat can Butcher get? None. One. Five. Okay. He seven. He got the he got the wave. Top lane. Rainer took exterminator, yeah. Okay. He's trying to freeze the lane. He's trying to freeze the lane. Oh, I thought you can say butcher, don't go in now. That charge not gonna do you anything. He's got eleven, he's just playing it safe. He's got a long way to go. I got 200. Not even uh, not even 10% there. Everyone is just playing it safe. No one wants to do anything. Waiting for the objective. Waiting for... Well, camps are out. I'm surprised one of the team is not... Oh, there he goes! Uh, I'm not sure why he charges it in. I'm not sure why Butcher charges in this early in the game. Camps? No one? No one get camps? First map, they were all about camps. Nice bush check by May. Now we're doing up top. Oh, Rainer. Where's the stun? Oh, no stun. Oh, now the stun? Oh. Come on, you can stun Rainer. Man, he absolutely has no tap. He's just sitting there. Oh, man, Rexar, you need to die in those globes. No one wants to get camps. All right, here we go. Rexar's getting camp. Oh, he's going for a flank. He's going for a flank. He's going to pretend they're going for the camp. Here we go, here we go. Raynar, do you have... Oh, there's the pushback. Oh, and the stun misses. Stun misses. Oh, Raynar's in full retreat. Oh... If that stun had landed, he could have been dead. All right, blue team got stair cap. They're going to hold it off for the objective. Li Ming is going to start theirs. Bridge is up to 34. Got a long way to go. Raynar is checking. Gray Main is going to get... cap it. There we go. Red team is a little bit behind. All right, blue team is there first, and they got a lot of damage. Rayman, Rainer, Vala's not here yet, but I think half time. Oh, here we go, Butch is going to get the first one. Make it. Does he have anything? Lucio is going to speed him out. Oh, but he still gets it. Lee Ming gets it. And Butcher, does he get the meat? He gets the meat. Oh, Bay was trying to build the rotation. Then they died. The team does get halftime show though. My team's doing a good job defending. Trying to get some poke in. Rainer is trying to get some experience. Oh, they want they want Butcher to go over and the stuff and the pushback by Lucio! The polymorph don't much save him! No, Butcher goes down! The meat! The meat! Oh! And Gray Man paid for it! I think that's worth it though. That is worth it to lose some butcher meat. They're going for it. Ball is trying to burn it down. They need to focus on ball. Red team needs to focus on ball. Now on the tank. They get the tank. Oh! I guess that's oh Vala takes a um a ball to the face. All right, without a tank, can the blue team push in? I don't know. Vala's just trying to chip in. Rainer's here. We go. Rainer's going to try to burn it down. Trying to burn it down fast. Oh, the stuns! Oh, they had to back out. They had two thousand. 
butchers on their objective though. Can he do it? Here comes May though. Here comes May. But red team's got sevens. Rainer's on it. Rainer's on it. Can he do it? He's got 500. Just one more heart attack. Oh, May goes down, but they get the objective. May died for the objective. Bro oh my gosh, Rainer needs to get out of it. Oh, here comes. Here comes. Oh, he's going to say. I was going to say. Butcher. I thought he was going going in, but he played it smart. Not worth it. Oh, you need to be careful there, lady. Oh, no! almost. If 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 Lucia was able to boop Lee Ming back, I think Greymane might have had a chance. All right, the, this immortal is going down pretty fast, but so did the towers and the gates. I think they're going to save the fort. Yep, got it. That's about half. Half. Meanwhile, on the top, Rainer is starting to, starting to hurt. What did he take? Spinning rounds, and he's got he's got a full sustain. Stamina bait with the full sustain. Oh, thank you, Snafogus, for the raid. Thank you. Uh, we are on um, game two of this division E matchup between the Yavapi County Municipal Youth Chess Club and Swim Team versus Rye, um, wait for 30 Seconds Tomash, where 30 Seconds Tomash is currently up one game. That is one heck of a team name. You're right, Asma Chat. That is right. And we have a Butcher game. Oh, you had a butcher game on on the other one too. Oh, did the butcher get their mat their stacks in your game? So far, butcher's only at sixty five. He died once. Be wary. Our eternal battle will soon be upon you. Butcher is the new meta. Whether he wins or not. Time will tell. Alright. Hands are taken. We got Blank Heal, Unleash the Boars, Land the Slaughter, Shield, Disintegrate, Avalanche, Hyperion, High Five, Curse Build, and Range of Vengeance. Alright. Oh! There's land to the slaughter! Oh, but May! Oh, they're trapped! And disintegrate! Finally, May couldn't get anyone! Oh, but they polymorph! Polymorph May! There goes one! One down! The attack is down! Oh, Li Ming! Oh, Li Ming! Oh, no! Okay. The all auto attack team of blue is not doing as well. If you clump them up in this corner, that's twice. Blue team got crushed when they were in this corner. Not only does Butcher have the Lambda Slaughter, you have Li Ming just bursting down anyone there. Oh my gosh! They're, oh my gosh! No! My Lucio! Grammy! This is not working! Where was Avalanche? May, you need to just pop it as soon as they come in. You could have could have gotten the objective. Oh! And Butcher goes back in! This was stunned by Vala saves him, but Oh my gosh. 134, Butcher is climbing. Oh, and red team gets it. I think the blue team could have had it if May had used her um, avalanche just to, for the peel. Could have easily got it. Oh, Butcher, you need to be careful here. The demon moves for the gates of 
All right. Red team is going to get 13s. Blue team has to be careful. Oh, wow. Blue team was able to... Um, and didn't even need a Hyperion for it. Nice. Oh, there we go. London Flurry getting made again. And the shield to confirm it. Oh. Oh, that was a nice combo there. Lambda Slaughter. I don't think you needed the shield from Joanna. But, you know, play it safe. Secure the kill. Uh, one more kill. One more death. And Butcher will get it. All right, Rainer is keeping them in it, taking the bottom, but it's a nice healthy lead for the red team. The team is going to get it. They better, he better hurry. You better hurry. You better hurry. You're going to get flanked. You are going to get flanked. Where's May? Where's May? Here comes May. Here comes Vala. This is slow. Uh, there he comes to Oh! Wow! Oh! Brightwing almost in with the heal! That's actually good that... Oh, here we go! Butcher's coming in! He's coming in! Oh, nice! I have let Butcher away! Good job! Good job! Can they get Can they get He doesn't have his sacks yet! Unstoppable! But the Oh! Nice peels! Nice peels! Oh! <laughs> Butcher, you need to get out of there! You need to get out of there! It's 5v4! You need to get out of there! Oh, the stars! Oh, Butcher! Oh, Greyman goes in! He gets them! Butcher loses the stack, and Leeman goes down! Greyman goes in! Going on the ham! Oh! Oh! Butcher! Okay, he's still got 165. Oh, Greyman! Greyman comes in! But oh, can they get me? Do you have me? Anything? You have to speed him out, lose your speed! Oh, but the whole. Oh, the boars! The board stops Lucio! The board stops Lucio! They get two return kills! Oh, the turnaround! And they got Camp pushing up top. Oh, those boars by Rexar. Comes in, slows down. Lucio and May. Easy halftime show. Easy halftime show. Our battle cannot remain here. All right, put just back to 176. I think that's what he had roughly last time before he died. He just needs one more kill. He's trying to get it the hard way by peasants. All right, red team get the objective and the camp. All right, red team they should wait for Joe. I think which is going to get his stacks here. It's a matter of time. Once he gets picked off, needs to play it safe. Raina's looking for a flank. Meanwhile, Rexo's pushing up top. I don't think that's the smart thing to do. You'd either answer the top. Oh, there we go! And the snowball! He snowballed! Oh, beautiful! See, that's what he does! But can he get the meat? Can he get there in time for the meat? Can he get it? Yes, he gets it! Oh! Butcher gets the stacks. He gets the stacks. Game over. Game over. Butcher's just hammering away. Even if he dies, who cares? Almost gets it. Look at this. How much he got? 2,700. Go in there. Here comes, here comes Rexar. Oh, Rexar got the top fort. I mean, top keep and bottom keep's gone. Oh my gosh. Two level lead for red team. And Butcher's fully stacked.
Doesn't look good for the swim team here. They need some more structures. All right. Red team knows blue team's going up top because they walked right through the um, minion way. So red team says, you can have the camp. I'm going core. We have a butcher. There's the Boris for the disengage. He's just a disengage. Bala is on cleanup duty. 27 stacks. Respectable. But here we go. Oh, why didn't he go? Come on. What's the point of being a butcher if you can't solo kill that thing? You had Lamb in the Slaughter. They were not going to make it in time. Nice stun. Nice unstoppable by um, Lucio. Alright, they want Butcher, but he's stacked. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, he's healing. He's healing. He's just healing himself. He's just healing himself. Oh, heal. Snowball went the wrong way. He wanted the snowball. Butcher. But got Lee Ming instead. Here goes Butcher. Boom. Another one. Oh, and Lucy's going to speed away. But, oh, Bala might die. Oh, nice. And Sava, but, oh, but just stunned by Joe. Boom. There goes another one. Boom. There goes another one. Game over. Five man team wipe. GG. Good job, red team. They win the domination. GG. Two forty stacks. Not too shabby. All right. Let's see, four nine two butcher twenty one k, but Li Ming um, kept him in the game, and then butcher got the kills at the end. Bala, the triple auto attack did not work because they didn't have burst. Well, they had Greyman for the burst, but. He's really squishy. He goes in. He's going to get blinded by Joe. Um, rooted. Stunned. Li Ming. Butchered. Not the best. Three auto attackers against that team. All right. Let me see if I can get a interview. Let me see. Who was their captain? Was it the captain? Captain, who was their captain? Anyway, if you can hear me, anyone on the red team, come on in. Oh, orange shines, captain. Let me whisper. All right, while we're waiting, let us look at the standings. Um, here. Hello, hey. hello. How's it going? I'm doing good. How about you? Feeling pretty good. Congratulations. Thank you. So we have Born to Shine, who's the captain, and the captain, who's not the captain. The captain is the assistant captain. So to be fair, the name still works. Okay. Okay. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So this, I believe, guarantees you with second place. Uh, or actually, so. you're you're actually tied with the pancakes with 35 points. Does... They have one more game left, I think. Oh, they do. Oh, okay. we do too. So yeah. So it could be anyone's game. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, because I think 
even in head to head, like when you when you put us against each other, where even they beat us one what, match, we beat them one match. So yeah, oh we're gosh. we're real even. Nice, I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay, well let's first talk about the first game, Volskaya Foundry. Mm -hmm. Um, I gave MVP to Nazebo. I'm not sure who played Nazebo. That was Hunter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he he was sidestep king. He he was ganked at least twice by four or five people and he just sidestepped everyone <laughs> i was yeah. so yeah. impressed hunter was just kind of in a vibe mood i guess and he didn't really even talk much he's just kind of he was just kind of doing the zebo things to be honest while the rest of us were were um flailing about like carp so he definitely carried us on that one he says uh just let me do my thing and you do your thing <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I I'll think... go Vala. Maybe they'll get baited into take, caring about my Gambit stacks more than I do. I think by the end of the game, Hunter was like, I have 97 health. 9,700 health. Yeah. Like, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> he needed all of it because he was just running around. They ganked him twice and failed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it yeah. was fun he, to he watch. A good time. I, I wanted, uh, I don't know, with the Benny Hill theme song. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, but it's when you run around, and that's what it reminded me. He was just running around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he did really well. Yep, yep. That's what, sometimes on Nazebo, he just like wanders off and disappears, and all of a sudden you see him in a lane across the map, and it's like, oh, wh where? Wh how did you get there so fast? Mm -hmm. Let's go gank him. Oh, uh, no. Nope. Mm -hmm. He does a good job. <laughs> <laughs> and for the second game, mm -hmm. thank you for the butcher game. <laughs> <laughs> I was really excited about that. To be honest, um, I'm not very good on Butcher. I just kind of was like, I want to play Butcher. Um, you know, just that's that's the crack of diet talking, I guess. So the team was kind enough to let me play Butcher. Um, last minute pick. Uh, so yeah. So that was not the plan all along. Oh God, no! I never go into an NGS match thinking I'm going to play Butcher. Um, <laughs> But sometimes once the circumstances, I saw, you know, are just right. Yeah. And once I saw all their entire squishy team. Yes, they were. Um, yeah. It, even I figured even if I didn't get stacked, just the sound of a butcher charging in is going to be enough to either waste some ults or, or um, freak him out a little bit. Um, so it was kind of like a last minute. Let's just, you know, we're probably in the playoffs. Let's just give it a shot. Mm, good for you. Though I will give... MVP to Rexor because yeah. that one play where they stole the bottom camp and they were marching to their keep and then they were running away. Rexor unleashed the boars, got Lucio, got May, and that's where the major turnaround it went downhill from there. Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, MVP to Rexar there. Well played yes, there. Yeah. Baka plays him wonderfully. So, okay. It's, uh, it's real strong. It, uh, when I was looking at the standings also, I was thinking maybe Dragon Ball Z might also has a chance. If they go domination, they'll tie for 35 points. But you're saying Pancakes has at least one more game and you have one more game. So yes. the best they can probably do is, is third place. I, um, I believe that's correct. I, yeah. As long they, as you win one game, at least. Well, even if they tie in points with us, I think in the head-to-head, -head we come out on top. So I think, yeah, I think they have a chance, yeah, to get into to third place, but I don't think they can take first or second. Right. Mm -hmm. and I if think... I'm mathing correctly, which I might not be, because I'm an English major. <laughs> no, I, I think you're right, too. <laughs> and I, I think um, the... Meme one, this team you just played, I think that's their last game. So, uh, yes. yep. so if They're Dragon Ball Z yeah. wins at all, then they'll get third. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fun, fun stuff coming down to the playoffs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're excited. I was excited. I, I really liked the Butcher game. Thank you. Thank you again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember that next time we cast. Is, is okay. Casting? All right. 
You uh yeah, if Baja's casting, I Probius, if Pelgor's casting, I, I butcher I'm gonna have a, a list now. <laughs> oh, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing a Probius game either. Uh, but Pridge, I mean, Pridge is more exciting. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to twist my arm, I'll play I'll play the probe. But would you do <laughs> it in the playoffs the where everything is um, on the line? Yeah, I would if if the, the comp called for it. I mean uh, I don't want to brag or anything, but I'm uh, something of a Probius main myself on a different account. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I have like 54% win rate. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is pretty good. That Storm League? Against AI. It's, no. no, I don't have another account with a Probius. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations again. Do you have any shout outs you want to give? Um, shout outs to, I guess, Teal for our, uh, to our coach for you know, doing a really good job and putting up with our, our bullshit. Um, I just realized I probably shouldn't have said that, but I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> shout we'll outs to you. the team putting out a, a lot of good work after, you know, I had a really rough week and putting up with my crap. So thank you very much. And, uh, shout out to, um, the Avapai for the good games. Mm -hmm. And thanks for casting Peldor. So shout out to you. We appreciate it. Uh, yeah, thank you. Definitely. I enjoyed it too. Always enjoy a butcher game. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember that. <laughs> well, good luck in your next game and uh, playoffs coming. Mm -hmm. Hopefully yeah. you'll yep. get your first place. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Uh, all right. Thank good you. Night. Good night. All right. Let me see if anyone is casting. There is another game, but that's in 20 minutes. So um, I would like to, I'm going to, you know, what? I'm just going to raid you back to Snarfungus. He raided me from his first game. He has another game coming up, but he's not on yet. But I'll send you back there in case you all want to stick around. Um, he has another game in about 15, 20 minutes. Um, so thank you again. Um, that was your Division E matchup with um, 30 seconds to Marsh, winning Domination Style 2-0. Thank you for joining. My next cast is Thursday, same time, same channel. And for now, I will raid you over back to Snarfungus. Um, thank you, everyone. Um, good night.